What's up, YouTube? Dragon Taco Seven here with another episode of Perfecting Agent Fairies. This card, this episode's card is, of course, Light Ray Greffer. Uh, you know what it does? Pitch a light, banish a light. Uh, and this, these are the three cards that I uh, use, I uh, combine it with. You know, Dimension Alchemist. When it's destroyed, you add a light. Uh, I mean, any monster that's removed. Pay 800 at a light. Special summons to remove from play fairy. Uh, so yeah, when this card's effect was first announced, people were seeing uh, it's gonna be broken. It's gonna be agents are gonna be tier, tier one again. But really, it hasn't seen much play. I mean, I haven't. I've only seen one deck profile with. I mean, one agent deck that uses this on YouTube right now. I've only seen one, I think. Yeah. And I don't want to say it's bad, but I mean it doesn't deck from what I've seen the deck doesn't have much synergy. Uh, I've been testing it out and I really like this card. I mean probably people just aren't finding the right build for it. But you know, whatever. So anyway, the I'm gonna show you a few cards. Deck, if you run Light Ray Graffer in an agent deck, its main advantage is for you to get out a fast Christia the next turn. Or, like, so you open up with this. And the rest can be whatever crap, doesn't matter. So, the great thing about this, you know, it might seem like a bad hand at first, but you read the card, summon, banish. I mean, discard, discard effect veiler, banish your Christia, set this card, the opponent draws, miraculous descent, it's for summon Christia. And, yeah, uh, something else that you can do is, I mean, if you, so you open up like something like this. This time, instead of Miraculous Ascent, you open up with Letter Redemption. Obviously, you're not going to get a big push out of something like this. And, uh, what I do, I actually discard the Hyperion to special summon Light Ray Greffer. I know it's a minus, I know, I know you'll minus yourself, but I think it's worth it because. Discard effect veiler, banish your Venus, then you activate light of redemption, get your uh, add Venus to your hand, you normal summon it, and you go into your shine ball play. Personally, I like using miraculous descent a lot over light of redemption because I mean, it really just depends on the hand, really. But I really like going into a turn turn one, turn two, miraculous descent with Christia. I mean, sometimes I do go for Hyperion, like late game. But if it's early game, I really go into a Christia. The nice thing about this is that is that it switches your Christia for you. I mean, even even if it gets um, destroyed, you'll still have it in your hand like early game, which could just uh, pretty much give you the match. I mean, what happens? Other good things about this card is that it's warrior, so you can use it for with reinforcements of the army, and it's a light, so you know works with honest. And if you want to like know which ones to run, I recommend all three. I run one, two, and three of these, respectively, just because I think. Uh, Alchemist is too slow. I mean, you have to waste your normal summon on him, and he has to be destroyed. Light of Redemption, you just pay the 800 and add it to your hand, and this card is just too good. Works great if, say, your Christia gets solemned or something. You know, you can get, you can add, summon Hyperion, 
I actually like banishing my Christie if it's in a grave for Hyperion because since they run three of this, I can just set it and activate it next turn. It's a really good card. But anyway, YouTube, that is my review on Light Ray Greffer. Rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel. I mean, check out my channel for more videos. Till next time, see you, YouTube.